Hi guys, what is urinary tract infection or UTI? An infection which involves kidneys, ureter, bladder and urethra or this urinary system, we call it as urinary tract infection. The most common cause is bacteria in that E. coli is very common which is present in digestive system. The patient usually presents with burning micturition or increased frequency of urination if the lower, lower urinary tract uh, is involved, that is cystitis or erythritis. If the upper urinary tract is involved, such as kidneys, the patient will have loin pain, that is uh, lower back pain, and patient will have fever, chills, and rigors. So upper urinary tract infection, we should consider as complicated urinary tract infection and as to be treated promptly with IV antibiotics. But before that, the, the history is very important. Uh, how common is UTI? The urinary tract infection is very common in uh, females because of short urethra and uh, its anatomy. Second, uh, when there is a sexual intercourse, uh, this urinary tract infection can happen. Third, it's uncontrolled diabetes. Fourth is menopause. The females, uh, the estrogen decreases and this leads to urinary tract infection. Fifth is the patients who, was, who are on immunosuppressants such as post-transplant or uh, some connective tissue disorders. Here also patient can have uh, urinary tract infection. So this usually they complain of burning maturation or fever, chills and loin pain. Sometimes the patient can also have hematuria. The first thing what we do is uh, if you are suspecting upper urinary tract infection, we send for urine, urine culture or if it's simple uh, urethritis or cystitis, then we can send for urine routine where we can see uh, plenty of pus cells and bacteria and then we can uh, give a short course of uh, antibiotics. So if it's an upper urinary tract infection like pyelonephritis, uh, imaging like ultrasound, uh, urine cultures along with the urine routine, uh, we will send and uh, then we will treat with the IV antibiotics. And once culture comes, then we have to adjust the antibiotics accordingly. And diabetes with acute pyelonephritis, we always do a CT KUB just to rule out uh, any papillary necrosis, hydronephrosis or emphysematous pyelonephritis which are very common uh, in a diabetic, uh, uncontrolled diabetic patients. So this is how we treat and uh, once the patient has recurrent urinary tract infection, then probably this patient might require, um, uh, require a prophylactic antibiotics for a longer period of time. Thank you.